Developing news in Providence tonight where a local pride group is holding a rally in response to a divisive tweet from the Diocese of Providence. June is known as Pride Month and yesterday on Twitter, Bishop Thomas Tobin called on Catholics to not support or attend any pride events. Today he issued a new statement responding to criticism that read in part, quote, the Catholic Church has respect and love for members of the gay community, as do I. As the gay community gathers for a rally this evening, I hope that the event will be a safe, positive, and productive productive experience for all. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live at Cathedral Square in Providence where tonight's rally just began. Eric. Kate, this rally just started a few minutes ago and as you said, dozens who are part of the LGBTQIA community and their supporters, as you can probably see around me, are gathered here in Cathedral Square. They're all here speaking out against Bishop Tobin's tweet. They're waving pride flags and have written a few messages on the ground in chalk. June is Pride Month and like you said, Bishop Tobin called on Catholics to not go to any Pride Month events and also said they're especially harmful for children. Rowland Pride leaders along with others have called the tweet shameful and it's why they're out here tonight. So tonight we're responding to a really hateful tweet by Bishop Tobin um, that really sends the wrong message about what pride is and what it means to this community. Um, so why not bring pride right to the front doorstep of Bishop, Bishop Tobin? And this rally is happening during a mass here at the church. Yesterday morning's tweet from the bishop has gotten a lot of attention. It's been commented on more than 70,000 times. Late this afternoon, Bishop Tobin sent out a follow-up statement saying he regrets it turned out to be controversial and offensive to some. He wrote in part, quote, As a Catholic bishop, however, my obligation before God is to lead the faithful entrusted to my care and to teach the faith clearly and compassionately, even on very difficult and sensitive issues. And he closed by saying, as the gay community gathers here for the rally tonight, I will be praying for a rebirth of mutual understanding and respect in our very diverse community. This rally is scheduled to go until 8 o'clock tonight, and we'll have more from the rally and reaction to the tweet tonight on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. But for now, live in Providence, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.